this is No Frills ASMR. I uh, tried to make an in-store recording yesterday, but the sound quality was horrendous. <laughs> but I wanted to show it to you, so I'm going to record a little voiceover on this. So these were glow-in-the-dark skeletons. And this is a one-eyed, spooky-looking jack-o'-lantern. The store had their Halloween decorations all out, which was kind of fun. This jack-o'-lantern guy kind of looked like Jack Skeleton. Is that his name? Skeleton. He was pretty cute. I guess you could put a light in there. And then, oddly, they had these Christmas trees out. And I bravely pressed the button on one, but I was afraid it would play a song. But it didn't, it just lit up, which was pretty cute. I don't know if I ever checked the price on that. But I thought it was odd that they had Christmas trees, and then they had these candy canes and snowmen. But the snowmen didn't look quite happy enough, but they're cute still. And then more Nightmare Before Christmas Jack guy. <laughs> and then I realized, well, these candles are black. That's weird. <laughs> but I think it's because it's the night. <laughs> I know you guys probably know this, but the Nightmare Before Christmas. So maybe you put out Christmas and Halloween at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> I am... Um, I, it's been like the 1990s or whenever that movie came out. It's <laughs> probably the last time I saw it. And that's some dog. <laughs> I don't know their names. <laughs> they actually say their names on these boxes. But when I'm doing this voiceover, I cannot see those, so sorry. I can't tell you what they are. <laughs> and then this is one of those things that puts lights on the ceiling. Um, there's Jack Skelton. I didn't know who this gal with orange hair was. I don't know her. And that guy was pretty creepy. <laughs> he blows up, and I think there's a light inside. Um, oh yeah, and that girl, I can't remember her name. And then this thing had a button that said, push the button. I was like, mm okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and he just lit up. He didn't play music. I was glad. And he has a cat bow tie. That's cute. <laughs> I didn't even see that. And then like a ghosty thing. But really, I was trying to get to show you these without showing people. So I think I had to kind of stall because there was a person nearby. <laughs> But look at this kitty cat, oh my gosh. It's huge, and its head moves back and forth. And I was showing you, like, that guy's taller than me, but this thing's, like, even bigger. That's pretty crazy. That would take up my entire lawn, like, I don't know. And then they had a mummy. Oh, yeah, this little guy comes out of his casket. It was cute. And a ghost. But look at this insanity right here. Oh my god, you guys. This Frankenstein. I can't tell you how big. Like, I am standing well below this signage. I forgot what it said, but it's like three stories tall. It's so big. <laughs> I wonder what kind of fan you need to, you know, keep that inflated. <laughs> and these little guys said boo. And a stack, another huge, tall stack of pumpkins. <coughs> I thought the turkey was cute. I kind of think my sister might have this turkey. Oh, yeah, they had the cinnamon brooms, but I sniffed them, and they then, I wonder if they were left over from last year, because they weren't very cinnamony smelling. <laughs> and this was like, theirs are all connected. So I think there's one blower. I actually thought that was cute. 
It's like a whole row of little jack-o'-lanterns. I could see that in front of my house, actually. I think that'd be cute. And then these are very sentimental sayings next to a wind chime. And I think I read it and decided that I'm not very sentimental because <laughs> it just felt a little cheesy to me. I don't know. And these were some kind of I don't know, you hang it in a tree and it spins. It's like a wind sock kind of thing, I guess. You'd think those would have been on clearance, but they were not. <laughs> and then over here they just had like all these mini pumpkins and cords and such. And they had some stacked and I think I paused because I was telling a story about when I worked at Red Lobster and they had a jack-o'-lantern carving contest and so I got an orange pumpkin, a white pumpkin, and a smaller orange pumpkin and kind of made like a stack, like a jack-o'-lantern snowman stack, <laughs> which at the time I had never seen that before. I thought it was pretty cool and I put like a dowel down them. And it looks so cool. And you had to bring it into work and put it on the bar. And then customers voted. And after like, if they had to be there for a week. Or something. And after about two days, because we're in Arizona and probably these pumpkins are not the freshest. The whole thing like kind of squooshed down and collapsed and oozy stuff went all over the bar. <laughs> and they were not very happy about it. So this was like plastic pumpkins. And then these ones were cool. They were kind of soft, but sort of a, I don't know what the material, kind of like a nylon, but soft. I thought they were kind of cute. And then these were, I think these ones were plastic too. And they were in like a mesh bag. I thought they were good, like if you want to put them on your mantle or something, just to add some little fall. And you could have them up through Thanksgiving too, which would be kind of nice. But I always buy real ones over at Trader Joe's for like, I don't know, 79 cents each. I think these were $7.99 for the bag, maybe. Oh yeah, and that one had a black pumpkin, which... Yeah, that's a big green... I went back and said, I like these ones. <laughs> I'm wearing my Fitbit because I'm still doing this walking co competition with my niece. <laughs> these were cute. These were like made out of a felted wool kind of thing. And um, they're kind of soft. I thought those were cute. And they had the stem on them. But they were all green. And that's like, you know, raffia, which is like a paper. And then up here I saw, oh, there's some orange ones. So I think that would be kind of cute if you had two orange and a green. My kitty cats might like playing with those, actually. <laughs> and then here were some bigger ones that I like. Made out of, you know, like a felted wool, but their stems were kind of I thought those were cool. I think they were $7.99, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh -huh. Oh, and these were some leaves. That They weren't that great looking. I think Michael's has better ones than that, I think. And a wreath. It was okay. It was pretty big. I don't remember how much that one was, but it was kind of nice. It had pine cones and gourds and fall leaves. And then I wanted to cross over, but there were people there. <laughs> and a baby crying, I think. So this is a soap dispenser. 
look at how covered in glitter. Oh my god. See, I can't even touch that because once I get glitter on me, I feel like I can never get it off. I was like, oh boy. I mean, it looked really cool, but I just feel like it would be, that was cute. It was a jack lantern. It was cute. I wonder if the soap was orange or the bottle. I don't know. Mm, I think that was a lotion, maybe. I don't know. And another pumpkin. And then these, <laughs> even the spiders had glitter on them, but I thought they were pretty neat. But I just don't know. I guess I would have purple glitter all over my face. <laughs> Keek. Boo Boulevard. That was cute. I should have checked to see what the soap smelled like. <laughs> Some of them said pumpkin spice, and I was like, mm, I don't know if I want that on my hand. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. And some more pumpkins. I think there were people around, so I was kind of stalling. <laughs> And then the aisles got like empty, so they must be getting ready. Oh yeah, there were these, um, what do you call them? Scarecrows that kind of look like Raggedy Ann and Andy. <coughs> and then another sort of felted cord with a big leaf. That was cute. I could see that like in my sister's house. She has a lot of those kind of colors, I think. It was cute. Yeah, here, I re this is where there was like people, I think. <laughs> and then they had all these Christmas bulbs, but they were all black. <laughs> I guess some people maybe have black and white trees, or are they for Halloween? I don't know. <laughs> and then that was kind of cute. I guess it's a pumpkin like for putting food in. Pumpkin plates. Oh yeah, these were um bluey. <laughs> Little bluey Christmas ornaments. And then Rudolph, the red nosed reindeer, and Santa Claus. Christmas ornaments. So yeah, suddenly I was in Christmas land. So that's about it. were just some Christmassy, sparkly, um, they were like snowflakes, and then I saw these, these are uh, butterflies, 